everyone, my name is Zachary Tiller and welcome to my channel. And today I am going to be playing Hello Neighbor. Now, this is a really a fun game. So, I'm going to guide you through and also I'm going to teach you how to beat the whole game. First of all, we'll start with a new game. Always a good, good idea to do that. That load. Sometimes screen recording can make it go a little wonky, so we'll see how it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. So I had to count the seconds. See how long we had to wait. All right, at one starts, and we'll watch all the cutscenes. Alright, so it tells you right here, use the joystick to move, and this is a mobile game. I'm playing this on mobile, so first, without further ado, let's get into it. And then also, we're not going to go that way, we're going to go this way. I'm going to show you something very, very kind of cool. See this, the Unreal, Unreal Engine missing script? It's a portal, and once you go through it... It takes you a shortcut to the house. And let's start. This is where our adventure begins. Uh oh. That don't sound good. What is he doing in there? Is he being a ghost? Or what is he doing? Really, I could see, I could see what's going on. Really, I'm sure you guys can too. Oh my gosh! Lock, lock someone right behind that door, and he's gonna see us, but we can't move. Like holy totally so. Okay, what are you doing, Mister Neighbor? Placing the key right there. Really? There is a faster way to do this. I'll show you the fast, fastest way to do this. Okay, so first of all... Okay, so... First of all, you want to stay away from the neighbor. I didn't know it's going to come out that door. Okay, and crossing your arms, and you're just walking away. Oh, great. Oh, great. Now it's time back towards the door. And maybe in another video, I'll probably have to show you something very funny that he'll do. Something you've probably never seen him do before. If it'll work. Hold on. Yeah, he, he saw me. Okay, now let's uh, jump. And he got me, and he... Okay, so... Now... So, now without him in the way... Okay! Now I see what I did wrong here, okay. So apparently, I screwed up a little bit. So, first of all, you need to do this. Okay, well, that was a little... miss. You need to aim a little lower. See if we can spread that window without going onto the roof. Yeah, and now uh, be careful the neighbor. Be careful. No, where is he now? Okay, there you are. Okay, you don't need boxes for this. You can just really make it up here. Like that, see? And there's glue on top of the roof. Oh my goodness, neighbor, you are crazy. Okay, now you can just knock this down. Just like that. Yeah, now this is 
this is something. Then you can just come in here. And yeah, my best get you a little bit. Okay, and then don't need to crouch that part. Grab this key. And grab this key. Keys right here. Then I'll lock that door. Then you can lock this if you want. Just flip the switch, jump on the railing to do that. And also the bowling ball trick. Bowling ball trick. You can just place a bowling ball right up there. And then you could able there's there's three ways to get into this room and get the key. One of them is pretty easy to do, so I'll go ahead and guide you through that one, that part, right now. Okay, so first of all, we can go ahead and we always need to man it. Okay, and then also you can grab the crowbar and thought pick from this back room back here. But be careful, because the neighbor will find you. And he found me, so I had to. If he sees you back here, run around the building. He won't see you then. And then he'll give up. Now, you don't need. You can use buses if you want to, but or, or else you can just. Oh, one button to use. Okay. I meant to use the use button, not the pro button. Okay. There you go, see? Now just aim at that. You get the crowbar at that, and then also get the locket too. Just like that, without boxes. Boom. Works like a charm. Okay, next, what you need to do is just use the lockpick. And be careful with the neighbor. Got caught once. Oh, and I think if you get caught again, I think there's something. Uh, maybe not. But at least the neighbor will be with me again. And now he's taking a nap. Hope you're enjoying your nap. And this is where you get the wrench. And then we can go and use the wrench in the backyard to open the ladder. This is another way to get into the room. And now let me show you a way to retrieve the key the fastest way. The fastest way to do this is Use the magnet. Always have it with you. Since we have this part open, and you saw me, you stick the magnet through the door and retrieve the key. And there we go. Boom. We got the key. And I think there's a me game. Now, you sh now let me um, go ahead and get caught one last time. Let's see if that comes up. Okay, it doesn't. Okay. I guess I won't show you that me game bit, so. Because I don't think it's gonna come. Because apparently it's not coming up. I don't know what you need to do to get it to come up, but. It comes up eventually, but just don't know when. So when you see the loading screen, that's when it'll come up. I'm sure you guys really seen that part. Okay, let's go in the other store and let's go to the basement. Get this over with. Alright, now into the basement. Okay, this is quite simple. So first of all, open this. Open this door. And also, you can grab these easel things. And I'll show you one thing. What you can do, I'd rather for the end grab four of these. It may not work perfectly, but just try it. Okay, now open this thing. And you don't need a TV. Let's see what's in this fridge. There's nothing in there. Okay, there's a mannequin. Apparently, the neighbor somewhere. I don't know where he is. Okay, set so the chair right here. And I'll lock that door. This should lead to the hallway. This should lead to the room. To the room. To the room we were in. And this should lead to the other room. And now, this door right here, you cannot access. 
this door is like just an invisible door. There's nothing on the, there's no room on the other side of this door. So you cannot never ever go through this door. Or else something may happen if you do. And there's a chair behind that door I just showed you, but it's un unreachable. Okay, you know, I can access that room. Go open the path to the generator. And at that door. It's, I swear I've screwed something up because. Oh, yeah, I did. Because that door's locked. Okay, so. Alright, so. Blame me for this because I messed up. I messed up. Alright, well, let's go back. So, let me go down this hallway. Go down the other hallway. Let me go down here. You can grab a flashlight if you want. And that mini can, you can just, uh, push out of the way. And this is not controlled by the generator. So, it should work when, it, when the generator is on or off. That. There we go. Now I did it right. Okay, so now I need to chop the generator. I mean, you need to chop the power. And I exactly know the path to it. And there's a the neighbor. Okay, run this way. Should be able to get away from him. Okay. Close the door. Go through this door. Then you go through this door. Go out this way. Don't go through this door. Go through this one. Then you go through this door. And you turn it back on. And you turn it back on. Okay, well, let's try that again. I knew neighbor is up to something. You just turn the power back on so I don't have to run all the way back to turn it back on. To turn it back off. And there you are. Let's we'll, we'll just, we'll just have him catch us. Or maybe not. Okay, now we're heading the wrong direction. We need to go this direction. Okay, and then let's go ahead and turn this off. Neighbor's somewhere. Don't know where he is. Okay, now let's try this again. Go through this door. Go through that door. Go through, not that door, but this door. Go through this door, and it's open. One time it did get trapped in here. Now we gotta hurry up before we get trapped. And now where's that door? There it is. Okay. And now, I would, I'm keeping these things. Let's hope it works. It... Alright, take these in with you. And you can trap the neighbor with these painting things. Let's see if it works first. Okay, so it didn't, didn't quite work. So I'll just grab this thing. And let's try again. This time, do it perfectly. Where is that thing? Where is it? Okay. Oh, I need to set down. Okay, it worked before. I swear it did. Okay, uh, there's that thing. Okay, so I guess we could just do it while we go. Okay. I think he's gone now. Or maybe, did he meet me by the door? <laughs> he made me by the door. Okay, so now... That's kind of weird. That's kind of... Okay, so now he's there, and see the locks on the door? There's a red, yellow, and a green key, but you cannot do it with this door. It's all boiled up. So, we can't do this door. It's except really, really secure. So we just ran into him, and we got that too. Alright guys, well I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching the video. 
And after at two starts up, and then I'll pause it. Okay, so and then. Alright, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoyed this video. And please uh, hit that notification bell to get more notifications so you never miss out on the video. Game on. Hello everyone, Zach, Zachary Tilt here, playing Hello Neighbor, so in the previous episode, um, we uh, did Act 1, so now we're gonna, now we're gonna start Act 2, I'm so excited, let's get this started. And we need to turn this up a little bit, so you can't redo anything here right now. All right, and look at that. Now we can go through this door, and now I'll go through some basics here. Okay. So some gamers said you can't really go come back here without ghost mode, but you can. So let me show you. Let me prove to you you can. See this pipe here? You can just jump on it. See and look, boom. We're in this area without ghost mode. And listen to that. Isn't that creepy? That is creepy. And also, and people said that you can't, some gamers said that um, you can't access this room either with Pathos Mode, but you can. I just figured out how you can do this. So then, I can prove to you guys that you can do this. Without this mode. See, look. I can go through this room, but I am not gonna drop down. And look, it's even louder than ever. That is a creepy sound. Look how dark it is back there. See, you can't even see a thing up ahead, but the room ends all the way down there. And listen to that sound. Okay. Now, listen to it. Isn't that creepy? Listen to that. That is the most creepiest sound I've ever heard, especially on mobiles. This creeped out a lot of gamers. It didn't creep, creep out me though. See look, I did- I gone through this area without ghost mode. So, the gamers say you can't really uh... Go through this area without ghost mode, you guys are wrong. You, you guys... You guys are wrong, you guys can access that part without ghost mode. You can access this part without ghost mode too, just use the vent and just set right there. See, and then, boom, we're here. We're here. Look, I got past the hall. And look, it turned darker. Watch the... See, look. It turned dark. It's completely dark. And this is the end of the hall, so we'll go ahead and go out. See, I can prove to you guys, you guys can really do this without ghost mode. And that was a proof right there you can't you can do it without ghost mode. So, if you want to get out, just hop on that red thing right there, where the dot's on. And then hop onto here, onto this thing, the one I'm standing on right now. And then, make a jump over the fence and boom you're back out you're back. and if you really want to go to the other area just take this through the vents take this and then then just place it here and boom see you're here but I'm not, I am not gonna drop down or else you're you're stuck here and or at the end of the restart, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so that's it for the basement. Let's go up here and start Act Two. I learned how to do this, so I can I can walk you through this whole entire process. 
So here we go. Coming out of the basement. Okay, the first thing you do is flip all those levers first. That's the very first thing you do. And there's a neighbor. Put this first one. Okay, you caught me while I was the lever. Okay, let's get that. So they watch it once, but once you watch it many times, you say, eh, I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, now, like I said, if the neighbor sees you just running around the building, then he'll, he'll give up. Once he does, then you can just access him to into his house and put this other level. And now he's going the way he needs to be. Okay, now he's really on the run, so let's go and go around the building again. Turn him out. And then we'll grab a basketball. I'll just drop it for now. Okay, so... And then... How do you get here? How do you get here before me? Oh my goodness, man. Okay, so... Let's try this again. Now it's night time. Let's hope he's not in the kitchen. If he is... Okay, we need that much. And, um, he's still here. My goodness, why are you... You don't want me to come in your kitchen? Fine, I'll just have to find another way in. Okay, so, like I said, the neighbor is really coming with me, towards you. If it's easy, you're coming towards you, running around the building. It works. So we get tired of chasing you. So let's hope he's down in the kitchen. Looks like he's not yeah, where he is. Something the blue and got me. But now I got the wrench. And now we can go and open this thing bad boy up. Got that. And you really need this. This is the most important thing. Oh! And uh um, we forgot about one thing. We're gonna set this here. Okay, and then Oh man, okay, well, I feel bad. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and now gently. There you go. And there you go, we got that one going too. So now that should pop the wheel off that thing. Oh, are you too bad? And now the next thing you need to do is use the wheel on that, on that part right there, and the other one on the outside ladder. If you want to get the generator going, you have to follow these steps. So first of all, place the wheel in here, turn it, and do the same for the back, for the back side. Okay, so first of all, you have to go up the slider. And this time, instead of going on the roof, you have to go on these pipes right here. And then, turn that. Okay, so we are there, turn that, and then that should allow you to do it. Okay, so and then now, to drain the shark water, first thing you need to do is try not to get caught by the neighbor, and follow these basic steps. Let's see. Let me show you the shark real quick, and then I'll allow everyone to do it. Okay, so first of all, the, sh the shark is in here, and there's a shark, and it's full of water. You can't do anything about this. See, when you get in the water, the shark gets you. But there is a way to drain the water, so let me show you how to drain the water. First time we're going the wrong way, so we need to go this way. And that's why you need the box. That's what you need, that's what the crate's for. So first of all, place the crate right here. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, place the crate right there. There. And then this will allow you to, to jump up on here. And reach this spigot right here. Place it there. Place the wheel on that spigot and turn on. And that will take that will drain the park water. Just wait until it's hot. And then take the wheel. And then now let's get to the park water and keep our size. Run up here. You still, you still can hear the shark, but he won't get you. And now, in this process, you can grab the shark. You can use it wherever you want. And also, you can grab the shovels underneath the water. Then go through this door, and then grab this key to unlock that, that door right there. And then open this door, and then open that door. And then you can go down this ladder to reach the dollhouse. And then you can go and grab his chair, the same for the key. Grab his chair, just put somewhere. And then you can go through this door right here. And now we can go out to the backyard and, and dig out that grave. Yeah, it's just saying, uh, let me just show this a bit. And let's open this door. And we do that. And let's grab the key. And then, we'll open this. And we got to get to the grave. I don't know where the neighbor is. That might be the problem. Okay, so run this way. So you should be able to find me now, so skip some time to dig out this hole. Okay, and then once you're done, just throw the shovel. That works. And then, open up this casket, throw this out of the way. And grab the dollhouse key. And that's where you find the dollhouse key. Am I stuck in it? I am stuck in it. Okay. Let's restart. Let's restart. Okay, so now we have the dollhouse key. So now, we can go to that dollhouse. And we can, we can enter this way. Or maybe not. We can neighbor in the way. Peace is everywhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this. Go up here. And now you should have access to the bathroom and that other room right there. The first thing we're going to do is close this door so you can't find me. Or maybe you can. There you go. You can open this door and that door. So now you have the access to the bathroom and that other room. So you have access to this room, and that's on hot, but that needs to be on cold. And then, now you have access to, to the bathroom, so let's go there. Okay, and then, oh, right oh, no, so we can destroy the glass, here. we don't need any more. And how do you get in here? Okay. But now we have this kind of cool looking guy. We have this figure here. And now we can take it to the dollhouse. And this is very simple, guys, okay? Listen carefully, see? See this toy here? Use the use button. You can click him there. See, see what I did there? I placed the guy on the toilet. So that means now he's very, very big when you have a toilet. It's like the man sleeping. 
And look, see, he's very, very big. And you can grab, grab the crowbar. And there you go. There's your escape. Okay. okay, so now this is very quite simple. We can use, we can use the key to break this window. This will get the neighbor's attention. Close the door so he doesn't see you. And make sure you turn this hot. And then turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Come out here. Go around the front. This should allow you to turn this thing on. And there you go. Second escape done. And now, I think I managed to do this correctly. I think now the other room is cold. Okay, so. Cold is not, so. Okay, so. Let's finish room up the water. Put the wheel. Put this. Oh, okay. And now, it's frozen already. That's good. Okay, this is the step in the right direction. It's frozen. Alright, good. Now we can just jump in here, get through here, and boom, we found the red key. And here you go. All three states managed. That's how you do it. That's and then gotta hurry up before the neighbor finds you. You can manage to escape three ways. So, so you can use the crowbar to take get all these nails out and, and there's your escape. Then you can you can use items like boxes, crates, and stuff to get to a the brain, then that and then you escape. Or you can use this red key. Unlock unlock this red lock, open this door, and boom, you can escape. There you go, all three escapes. All three, all solved. And that's the end of that too. And that's the walkthrough. Man, that neighbor is so mad. Imagine how he's gonna be in real life. Okay. Act 3 is now in session, but I am going to end the video here, so thank you guys for watching this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Game on. Hey guys, my name is Zachertilla here, actually now my new name is Zachertilla DX, let me try that again. Hello everyone, Zachertilla DX here, and welcome to my channel, that's better. And now, today, or tonight, we'll be playing Hello Neighbor. In the previous episode, we did uh, Act, Act 2 of Hello Neighbor, but now we're now we go through Act 3. Um, hello. Here, I thought I'd just get through all this, so we can just go through the game entirely. Alright, and Act 3, here we come. Okay, so how this will go is um, I'm going to show you some basic steps um, how to get through this act, okay? And there's a lot of secrets and lots of stuff going on, but I'm not going to be able to show you all of it in this video. I may stop some point, but I just don't know where. Alright, so first of all, I'm sure you guys know it's about the neighbor sitting on that building over there. I can see him actually. He's like over there, right where my dot is. He's right over there. You can see him from here. Let's try using the binoculars. Okay, and then there he is. He's watching us. Look at that. See him over there? He's watching us. He's watching us. Okay. 
So, I guess seeing point now. The neighbor's right over there. You can see that dot. That's where the dot is. Uh, okay. So, oops. And that one I'm gonna do. And also, I guess wondering what that is. That is my dog barking. Just ignore that and listen to me. Here's this letter here. And there's something behind the door, really. The door that I was facing here. That brown window there. There's this like red thing right back there. Nothing really in it. I looked through the crack and then yeah, it's like a red room with bricks. And this is just like a house, a whole house inside. And also we're kind of living in the city. It's kind of cool this thing though. Very good, very good one. Oh yeah, take the apple. You need it. Keep, 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 keep up. I'll be. Off we go. Goodbye, everyone. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to be watching all the cutscenes. Alright? And also, uh, that's my squeak couch. Just uh, ignore that, too. Alright, and here's the cutscene. Okay, first, first of all, now I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna watch this cutscene right now. Hmm. Why well, are you into this weird broken house? It looks like it's been burnt down. There's some challenges coming from the. Uh, You'll find a key, which is I'm sure a lot of you know, know this by now. And just unlock the store and then you're in. And you watch this. And first of all, I'm going to show you something real quick before we answer the phone. See, I just jumped over there. Just jump on that pile you see there. And right here, you'll see like a little secret. There's like a QR scanner right there. You can actually scan that with your QR reader if you have one. And, I'll, I'll, and also, I'll stand right here. And I'll you guys scan it if you guys want to. I'll, I'll give you guys about 60 seconds to scan that QR reader and read what it says. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. And one thing guys, I am counting all the seconds, okay? I'm gonna continue. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 31, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, your guys' time's up. Okay, now we're going back down. And I'll give you about five seconds to read this. 
the Unreal Engine Text Render Ear 2515. I mean, it says 27, the 2715. Alright, okay. So, you guys already saw that. So, now, down here, I give you guys plenty of time to do the QR reader. Now, we go to the phone. And this ain't probably a little glitchy, so just beware of that. Ah! Yeah, this thing is glitchy. This cutscene is kind of glitchy. You guys should know his house is like super humongous. Look how big that house is. It has a roller coaster ride. Actually, that's a bus. Right now, it's super dark outside. It's like nighttime. It's happening in the middle of the night when you build his house. Man, this is really kind of outdated. Okay. And also, I should tell you guys um, earlier about the door reader. I should tell you guys to um, get out your phones or what we have your QR scanner on. I should tell you guys about that. <laughs> so you so guys get get your phones or get whatever you have your QR reader on. I should have said that but I didn't. I'm sorry I forgot to say that. But I'm sure you guys know, know what I'm talking about. Okay. For the do, let's get started with, with our task. First of all you want to do is make sure the neighbors know where you're by. I'm sure he is. Do that chair out of the way. If, if you don't want to do this at night, just find a neighbor. I kind of like it better when it's morning, so you can see what we're doing. Okay. So this part, you really don't need to throw anything at the lever. So you just... Oh my. some boxes over here. You only need like two. So we get like two. And then we'll come down. You should be able to reach this lever. So open that. There you go. You will break yourself, break yourself inside just grab one of these boxes, break that window. Easy peasy there. Okay, so first of all we're not gonna do that quite just yet. Okay, so wait for him. Sometimes I just sound his porch and just being sad. Could that for me right now? But okay. So now the next thing you want to do is um go ahead and go over here and uh, go over here. And there's three ways to get up on this over this you can stack your bo set boxes and go over that big bar thing over there can't go over this though it's gonna go too high this is a little lower so it'll be a little easier and another way to do it or you can just run do this and then run over there try to make a cross like that or you can use this light to be a little easier just try to aim for the light and then and just go over here. Boom, works like that. And then put that lever. Oh, lift that gate up. 
and you can throw a, a little a little throw glue at this painting. See this painting here? Just throw something at that painting, and then they'll drag this down. Quite simple. All right, and then I will grab something very very small, like a tomato or something. I don't, I don't know. Rubber could fit. There's a monkey outside, so we'll go and use this. Okay, and then we'll. Oops. Okay, I guess I hit the frame and. and then, okay, so we'll try again. Working on the so. It's more and more running, and that's good. Okay. And then, now, let's try this again, because I kind of failed that. There. Now it's gonna be. Okay, so next thing you wanna do is uh, throw this in there. It did not work. And it's gonna be hard to get into that door. Actually, I, I nailed it. Okay, so... Oh, maybe a book will fit in there. Okay, let's try, let's try maybe a little small book. There you go. Let's hope this book will... There you go. And now open this thing right here. If you hit that lever in there, but you can't reach it. And then so I get the magnet. And then you just grab this blue key. Put down. Put this down for now. And also, I would just put a chair here. And open that door. Sometimes the pro can give you a little bit of so you can just go back with you and throw it. So that's how it is. Now we're up here. Remove this and we'll put there. There we go. This will start the bus. Okay, so let's lift this lever first and then press that button. And then this will allow the bus to break through this board blocking the way. And you can follow it where it's going because it'll get rid of all that stuff for you. Alright, and then the next thing you probably do want to do is uh, open this door here but which is you don't want to go through this door you can go through this door to get to the other room if you want to get the mannequin and we'll be doing that here just a few minutes
And first thing, let me go ahead and set boxes. This is our next step. We'll get to the roof. We will get on top of this. Let me show you. First thing, don't get hit by the bus. I'll probably show you that you can't get hit by this bus because you can. I've done it a lot of times. I didn't do it right now. Pretty good. With the travel being that high a little bit, then you can easily fall off easily when you try to get back on it. Okay, and then you place another box right there. And then place one right here. Place one right here. And then place another one on top of this. We made it on top of it, and now grab these last four boxes, and it should be able to get you up to the roof. Right here, you guys are. It's pretty simple. Oh, uh, that would not be not over. Uh, that's the last thing that's happening. And I fell. Okay, well, no, that's that's kind of good. That means now I can open the other door that I meant to be opening. Let's go here, and then we'll go up here. If the neighbor, hope the neighbor isn't up on the slider. Good, he's not. Okay. And there you go, we open this, and now we can just get. Oh my god, okay, oh, forget that. The bus came back. Let's go grab that box. She's kind of got me over. So I think this should do it now. I think this should, it should be the roof. It does. Here we go. We're on top of the roof. Okay, so I'll go and throw these boxes away. Okay, so this is how you can get this. You can freeze the water if you want, but there's, here's a, another way to do it. You can jump. And see, look, and then just jump. Make sure you do the jump perfectly. See, now look, see? That was kind of easy right there. See, then I freeze it. Okay, and here, see, that's how you can get the we can freeze the water, but that's going to be really difficult. You need the globe to do that, and then you click it, and you freeze it, click it to the um, thing, and you have to come up, because the freeze takes uh, an amount of time, so you need to hurry up and get it. Okay, that's, that's how that works. And this is kind of cool. I don't think you guys ever experienced this, but I'm sure most of you guys have.
pull that down. I forgot to grab something. Well, it's kind of. We need something, we need something to clog the gears, but I'm not using this wrench. Yeah, I am not using this wrench to clog the gears. So, we're gonna do something else. Lumbar won't work. Or this will. I think this kind of did work. Actually, let's do a basketball, because that really works really well. So, let's see something very cool. <gasps> my dog again. Don't worry about him. Okay, so now here's something very, very cool I'm about to show you. So now, now it's easier now because I opened up the ladder. Okay. And so, we're going to cut the gears. Just open this thing up. Plus, I'm very, very small enough to get in the store. You can't really go in there. Okay, look at the gears. the gears. I'm very sorry. Sorry neighbors. Sorry I clogged your machine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, and that'll pretty much be it. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching and I'm sure hope you guys enjoy my hearing my yappy dog right now. Um, and um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you're new to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next video game on all right now I'm gonna end it hello everyone Zegatilla DX here and to and then also we're also gonna be going back to hello neighbor and then this time in the previous episode we were doing act three and we stopped at um putting putting the basketball and clogging the gears so we were, we were busy clogging the gears and then sorry my tongue hurt so how can we all talk for a minute okay so we'll try this again so um I just forgot what I was going to say okay so this one is uh, we throw the basketball into the gears the machine, and now something's more accessible. I'm going to continue this. I want to restart this, and welcome to the part two of Act Three. And now I'm going to show you even more stuff to do. This may not take long, since now we don't we're in the step in the right direction. But there are three doors you have to go through. And we're about to go through one of them in just a few minutes. Okay, so apparently this is a glitch when you get into the game. It'll be glitchy for quite a bit. But at least now we're doing just great. Alright, so, Ray clawed the, the oh wait, the machine's name clawed? I thought we clawed it. Okay, well we're gonna re-clog it. We're gonna re it. So we'll see this basketball. And then we'll go and take this chair. not here that's good okay and then go here this isn't even open 
Let's see if that's open. Is that even open? If it's not, well, let's see. Yeah, it's not even open, so... Okay, well, at least now we're redoing it again, that's a good thing. At least everything wasn't really resetted. Now, let's go here. We saw the mixer magnet thing. Oh man, now we need this again. Okay, well, let's go back. Alright, let's go grab the ma grab my phone again. again. Actually, we're going to do this a little shorter this time by going over the plants. by the windmill and it's working right now. Look at this pole, it's like spinning. And look at this, you can see the whole view from here. There's a school over there, there's a church over there, the war tower, there's a supermarket over there, there's a gas station. There's a city which you cannot reach. <laughs> and there's a lake over there. And there's a factory. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and there's the hospitals right over there. Pretty big neighborhood. And look, look at all the trees. and It's pretty. This is a nice view. I like it. And here's a mannequin. We're going from off the, the, the view. Okay, now let's get off this roof. Oops, uh, that, that did not work out. At least now we're in the step in the right direction. We had the bridge. Oh, it says I'm down here. Uh, let's go and open this thing up. So you can open this thing up too. There we go. Is he here? No, he's not here. Good. Okay. I like seeing that he's not here. Well, the bus is coming. Okay, there we go. We're going to grab the basketball. Not miss her jump. Now, see the view from there, they're kind of turning right now. The 
It. I called the machine. Sorry, neighbor. I kind of called your machine again. Okay. So next, you want to do is go down here and go over, over, over all these plants. Actually, we go over this one. Okay, and then. And now, since it's been caught, that means, um, means this, I mean, the mixer man is stopped too. So you can grab this green key right here. And then, use it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go down here. Okay, down we go. Let's use this. And, it, and here's the first mini game door. Okay, so this is kind of a creepy mini game right here. So, see this locker here? You can hide it in it. You can hide in it, but I'm just gonna run through the hole. Not to get caught by them, which is I did. Okay, so try not to get caught by these guys. Jumping, then you can also um, push them down. Stay up for yourself. And voila, you did it. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something else to do. Now. And then, go ahead and do this. If you guys want to get the gun, make sure you, um, grab all the mannequins, all the birthday cake, all the birthday cake pieces. Hold on, let me try, okay, let me try this again. Make sure you grab all the birthday cake pieces in order to, um, get the gun. May take a few, may take a few, maybe minutes or hours or so for you to retrieve the gun. So that's all that, that's all I have for you. There you go, there's a piece here, so. For now, the book will take, which we'll get to. Okay, and then I put this thing. Uh, I don't have enough of my inventory right now. I'm going to just give this key. I'm going to move this chair and put it somewhere and I'm going to put it right here. Perfect. Turn this off. And then grab this key. And 
then now we're in the stepping out section. Go down here. First, that's how you do it. Up there, and then you got that on that. Now this door is usually kind of out. Until you get on like that here. We're saying let's throw this key out too. Don't need this key. And we really, as we still need this blue key, so. And we can go in on like this. And there we go. And we don't need this key anymore. And toss it. Alright, and then. Go ahead and get rid of these chairs. Got the door. Open those doors. Um, I'll have the bench for now. And land here. And there you go. You got this on now. Now the code's pretty simple. It's two, three, six, nine. That should activate the moving platform. And there you go. And that's where you get your next man mannequins over there. It's pretty quite that simple. I just tell you how to get the gun. So um, first thing. So you can't really come in here with the gun, but I do it anyways. Because it can do when this bar goes down, you can just uh go ahead and uh, throw it right through the bar like that. Just pretend this wrench was was the gun I have. Okay, and then you'll come into this room. This this won't go down when you bring the gun in here. You see this? Let me show you. Oh, okay, well, that was not, kind of, not there, okay, let me try again, okay, yeah, this wrench is, doesn't want to hit that, okay, see, it turned green, it'll turn green for a sec, for, um, for 10 seconds, so, make sure you keep that green, so, that will turn green, that will turn green, that will turn green, that will turn green. Those two over there will turn green. If you have all those turn green, this will go up. This bar this bar here will go down. This bar here will go down. I see them from the one out there. And then you're able to um, grab that chair, remove it. That button right there is to reset the whole thing. This make, that makes this bar right here. This See this bar right here? If you go on your side, if you hit that button, then this bar will go back down, and you'll be able to go through, go through that door. Understand what I said there? All right, and then this chair is here for a reason. You can just put it right through the thing, and did not work. I don't need a wrench anymore, so maybe you could try the wrench. We'll just pop. Okay, this is not good. I can't even activate this thing. Okay, now it's been activated. So, you're good. Now you got the red key. Alright. And now, let's go ahead and do this other thing. I just told you how to get go through this door right here. So this bar just will go down once you have that other, once that other one's up. So you can't go through this door. I just told you how to do the puzzle. Just... Okay, first of all, maybe if you guys didn't listen, I'll tell you again. You guys can bring the gun here, even though it says not to. This bar goes down, throw the gun right through the bar, then go through, go right through here. We have this room unlocked. Set boxes, and you do need a double jump power to get up into this door. Or else we have a hard time without it. So, so I'd rather 
I'd rather just have five boxes here, and that should get you into this room with a double jump. Okay, and then you can sneak in here, and then come here and grab the gun, and then shoot the gun at the, this, uh, this uh, orange cup, that thing, this bottle of juice, this bag of chips, this milk carton, and the basketball in that vase. If you hit all at the same time, if you have them all green, like I said, this bar right here will go up, and the others will go down, so you'll be trapped in this room. And after you grab that chip from the door, then you can press that button to reset the whole um, security system thing. Got, got what I said here? I just told you how to do this puzzle. You guys should know how to do it now. Alright, now let's go ahead and uh, do hit this. Okay, now it's down there. And let's go ahead and uh, do that second me game. Alright, the second me game is up, on, up there, so just say move this chair out of the way. And if you want to get the globe, make sure you get to that ball room where, where all, all those four ball shooters are activated. And they'll be hitting those levers, which make this angle up and down. And once this goes up and down, you have a chance to get that globe and freeze it and click onto that canopy to freeze the water to get the microphone. Or just use the way I do it, so that also will work as well. Alright. So, we'll do it to that and that did not work. So apparently we need to do this. Aim for it. Wow, that thing does not want to be hit. Okay, well, let me try again. I have a chair. That'll work. There you go. And now we're here. And now, now you're in the supermarket. You need five items. And there's nothing more items to get. That's the thing I'll show you what is wrong. I see what it looks like when you get something wrong. I'm just there at this time. Okay, I'm perfect. In the second time, I'll complete it all. First thing, just forget about the orange juice box. Just go and get the pickles, jam, chips, and the bottle of juice first. And, and also, if, if you see these guys coming, duck. They can't see you when you're ducking. But if you, it, and also one thing, when you do this and move, you're not invisible anymore. It works on the neighbor too. They should try it. And now let's push the cart even more. a box of orange juice. The items you need is pickles, chips, grape juice, ch uh, chicken, and uh, orange juice. Now the chicken is made. Make sure you grab the jam. It's right here. And I'm not going to grab the box of orange juice. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the The green light is the red light. I'm going to do it with the green light. And also, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the green light. See, and then I'll uh, hit you for cart. With, with their cart. Man, I can't say anything right today. Okay. They'll hit you with their cart, and then you'll start again, but the cart will be in the same place. So just stay here until they're 
the pet until they pass you. And they'll steal items from your car. Nope, they didn't. Let's get it. Regain on me. So what do you think? Should I lose or should I go ahead and complete this? Maybe I should go and complete this. So I'll go and grab the box of points you need. And then just complete it. I'll show just gonna show you but I decided to um, That's right. See? I got all right. Those are the items you need. So what you need is pickles, jam, pink jam, pink juice, and chips, and a box of orange juice. Oh, let's say it one more time. So you need pickles, pink jam, pink, pink juice, chips, and orange juice. That's that's your shopping list, okay? Remember that. If you don't want to get wrong. And we completed the mini game, so I was gonna show you the the wrong wrong thing. Okay, so you saw those lights were green, right? When you get something wrong, it'll go uh, uh, it'll turn red. And then you'll fall into a ditch and then you'll have to start all over again. And that'll be a waste of time, so I decided not to do that. Here's our mannequin, but we're not gonna get the gun. I just told you how to get the gun. I guess I could go ahead and tell you how to do it. Okay, so now we're in the step in the right direction. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Okay, now I got one more mini game to go through. Like I said, I have all four mini cans here. Dab them around the table. Find all three pieces of cake. I get, I'll show you where all the cakes are and all the mini cans are. But I'm not gonna grab them and bring them here, okay? But I'm not gonna do that just at this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do what we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and fly to um, where we need to go. Where's that bus? Is it here? Oh, it's coming. Okay. Guess I could show you what it looks like to get run over. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, so... First of all, then... We're gonna go on that platform first, so... We go here and look, see, all the stuff has stopped. The pool stopped, the windmill stopped, because I called the gears. Let's go ahead and go here and, uh, go wee 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 all the way to this platform. Oh, I missed the platform. Okay, well, let's try again. to go on to the platform. Actually, let me go and show you what happens when you get run over. Ah! See, that's what happens when you get run over. And now it's, now it's nighttime. 
Alright, where's the movie? Okay, turn off that. It's really annoying. It's, it's kinda... Kinda driving me crazy, so... I had to turn off. Where's the neighbor? Oh, he's, he's in the yard. I think he's over here. So now, check this out. So, okay, here we go, alright, I figured that I was going to come out, um, so now, the seed right here, this is where the neighbor is, okay, um, this is only point in the seed, but I will do it. <laughs> Is away from there so we can plant it. Okay. Alright, and now. Now it's been planted. And now you need the watering can. Pick up the water and then the tree will grow. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, get this last move we need, the double jump, and the double jump ability. So we need the umbrella for this. And there we go. We're right here. Spooky too, also. Kind of creepy. Okay, so what we want to do is go to the shelf right here. Jump the shelf. Jump onto the shelf. And jump onto the floor. And then you do the jump precisely. Jump onto here. Jump onto here. And then jump onto the shelf. And you can grab these cups and break the vase. And then you can 
camera up here. There's that creepy noise. And then go onto this board. And go onto this board. And then go into that toaster. Okay. And then you're in the toast. Now you got one to the toaster, you'll be in on this point. You can punch this exit sign and walk on it. It's a real noise when you walk on it. And then jump to here. Then here. Then jump over this. Go into this little passageway over here. Okay, so now we're in the passageway. Wait for the ice to up, and then you can go through here. Jump on this top, and then jump to this top from here. Now this is challenging. You only have one precise move at this, okay? You have one chance to get to that level. These things will crack when you step on them. So be careful what you're doing. So we'll have to cross as fast as you can to reach this level. And there you go. That will uh, make the toaster even more powerful. And then, jump in the toaster again. And then, it'll make you go into this and then they'll make you um, launch yourself to this point. Jump onto these. And I will grab four darts. You can use the shortcut or use the long cut. Or do it before. And grab four darts. Don't grab two, don't grab one. Don't grab three, grab four. He's coming behind you. You can hop on these planes if you want. And also, if you start, you can throw those on that box to get there. And throw more at that moment. Okay, well, it looks like I kind of screwed up a little bit. I don't think I was supposed to be doing that.
two darts here, so this kind of makes it easier. How do you get up there? Okay, so now I need to push it up here just to get that. Just to get that. That's pretty kind of. Somehow. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put it in the middle of the I'm not. Okay, so. I'm gonna put it over. There we go. Come on to this door. It should allow you to jump onto here. Walk on this board. And I'll give you guys 10 seconds to hear this creepy noise. The door is creeping open like a million times. Okay, so now what you need to do here is take a leap of faith and just keep pressing that um, jump button, then you learn your double jump move. Alright, and there you go. Another move learned. Okay, so now we're in a step in the right direction. There's two two ways to get the key card out of the Whoa. Alright, so now we're gonna go here and then I'll show you where the cake is actually. There's one where the balls are. Okay. There's one see that window over there? Up up there. Yeah, that's where the cake is. Okay. So I'll show you where the two pieces of cake were. And the other one behind the sun door. Okay. And that's where that one that other one is. Okay, oh the night door and then the sun door. That's our next step we need to do. So then now, we went through all three main game doors, and I think that's all we're going to do for this recording. Okay, so th hey, thank you guys for, um, thank you guys for joining with me today. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new, and I really have fun playing Hello Neighbor and showing you how to beat the game. And I'll sure up enjoy the second part, and then I'll try to do a third part. And also guys, I'll see you guys into the next video game on hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going back to um hello neighbor and also i am zachary tilt dx it's me all right now let's go ahead and finish off at three <laughs> Continue. So we left off by um, doing all the mini game doors, but now I am going to show you the rest of how to beat this game. So for this one, we're going to go through the night door and the sun door, and I'm probably going to show you where all the key pieces are. I already showed you where some of them are. And also plus in. Like I always say, um, it's going to be a little glitchy when starting the game. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, it's being a little glitchy, but it'll be okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, do this. Resume. Alright, and then let's use the umbrella. There's the 
man came right there from the very top of the roof. Okay, and then he's trying to get in place. He was catching something. <gasps> Sometimes uh, humming can just entertains me, and I'm sure entertain you guys too. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, so if it's a den, you guys really are enjoying this. Please do me a favor and leave a like. You guys really enjoying this game so far? Comment down below if you guys ever played this game or beat the whole game before. game and also it's pretty fun to play a mobile so if you had to play for the full version I pay for the full version so if I didn't you guys will know no I didn't, I didn't pay for it I did pay for it I did. okay now um so I'm running around the house just trying to get away from the neighbor okay yes oh we need a neighbor you know. Open, okay. And then we need to go over here. Okay, now here's now we're going going towards the night door. And it's nighttime, so and, okay, here's a chair we can open it with. We're saying we need to leave this here. I forgot there's there's one else one also here as well. And we want that block in the door. And here we go. And I would put something for this door so it will not close. And we'll grab this gramophone if you would. And the gramophone will be in here, but some on some other versions it will not. It'll be like on the outside. We we'll just put this down right here. And then we fix the chair real quick. 
because we don't want this clothing on us. And let's test it. Okay. Again. There you go. It doesn't, it doesn't close. There you go. There you go. So now that's the, that's the second night question. Alright, let's go and jump to our doom. Actually, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay. Alright, and here we go. And now we have this good looking drama cone. We'll drop it here. Alright, and now, we need a neighbor again. I don't know where he is. Just go through that sun door. Do not go there dur at dawn or in the morning. Um, it has to be midday. You had to, you had to be there at, at high noon. Okay, that's that's. <gasps> that's can... ah! 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 Open at high noon. But if you try to open it in the morning or when the sun goes down, it will not work that way. Has to be um this way. What's oh, here? Here you go. I showed you in the last episode that you can't get run over by the bus. Did it like two times in the last episode. All right, now we're coming here during the day. And here we are, we're back. Okay, now we'll have this box blocking the way. Here's the cake right here. Like I said, so it's in this room. And we'll go and put this box right in front of there. Now that's not gonna work. As we there, that work. There you go. See now it won't. You know. I guess I'll go and take it. And the play as well. Uh, what key do we not need? We, yeah, we don't need key. So we'll throw it, and then we'll take the plate with us too. Okay, so take this chair, throw it back there as well. And then I can activate this. You can't open this yet because it's filled with water. Okay, so and then the generator is out here. Alright, and then let me go ahead and just put the plate again. Grab this box, grab the window. And you do not want to put the flashlight out of the window. You need that flashlight, it's very, very important. I'm just moving back. It's just, I feel like doing that. Okay, and then, here we go. Thought I would probably put it in there. Put it in here. And then I'll take the plate back. Because we don't have everything yet. We don't have the guitar yet, but we know where the guitar is. Okay, so now. Um, I'm going to drop this and put the chair back. Okay, and there we go. We'll take this plate. There's another cake piece, and then we're going to try to jump up to here. There you go. If you want to drain the water from that room, just uh, turn this wheel three times. So, then they'll pop up. And all the water will leak out. Once it's done, then you can go back to that room. And also, now you can enter here. 
and here's the other cake piece right here. I showed you where the other one is. It's very tricky to get to, but I guess I'll show you again. Oh, okay, no. Guess like that was not taken care of yet. All right, well, let me go and uh. Okay, that's not what I want to do, but it's all right. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to that room now. Simple, see that mannequin over there? He's on the side of the window. Um, if he has a double jump ability, then you can throw something at the window. Which is where I can, for example. And this super pole. And there you go, see it then. You do this, see? He got to the mannequin. Or else you can fall from those tracks up there. See the tracks? Just. Um, fall down from the tracks and see that door right there. You can come out that door and then come jump from the tracks and then land to this platform right here. And this will um, allow you to get the mannequin. Let's go, let's come back, let's come in. Alright, and then um, now I need to um, go and grab this in this box. Again, since I showed you how to do it, and now we have to aim again. That did not work. Okay. Wow, this is not working very well. Okay, so really, you had to aim. I wasn't aiming, that's why. There we go. Now I aimed. Here we go. Put this chair out of the way. Just put it somewhere. And then you can use this one now. And come back here. Oh, and now we need that big drum apart. So now you can get into this room and go down. It should be. It should work out. So now let's go and grab that drum apart while we're at it. That's what that noise is, if you guys are wondering. Okay, that chair did not work. No it does work with chairs. Just have to... You just have to aim. There you go. Aim, and there we go. We got in. Alright, and here we go. Now we're gonna play this sweet music. It's these levers here. Um, these levers activate the bars for going up and down in the attic. And also in the bathroom as well. And then we 
play the catchy too. Is the way it goes. these levers. The boss can't hit him now. And now we can you can eat the, the good one here. And now we get the bad one. Which is I left down the roof. And now we're going to get that um, almost got hit by the bus again. Oh, is it not here? Oh, yeah, there it is. We just didn't shrink all the plants. Here you go, and then go ahead and do this. I don't know what's going on with my hello neighbor. I don't know why things are saying like that plant. Okay, there you go. Now we got the bad one. Oh no, so let's go uh, to over here. I guess it also can, can, can control the bus by going in it, but it's kind of a little hard to do. through this door and here's the other mannequin right here I'll go and take him out for you just want to get the gun make sure you sell these mannequins right right where the pie room is where, where, where the present on the ceiling is and find all the cake pieces too so you know there's one in, in the ballroom you know where, where the ballrooms are there's one right behind the sun door I'll show you where that last one is there's one already in the party room. See that window right there? That's where the last cake piece is. Right where my dot is. See where my dot is? Yeah, see that window right there? That's where the last cake piece is. So you need first to forget at that and then glide your way in. And now and then you get your last cake piece. Alright, and then we're gonna leave that here. Go to oh now we need to go through this, the doors again. Okay, so we're heading the right direction. All right, now we're gonna go in here. We go right here. And how'd that get closed? Okay, well we got to um really kind of do ourselves. For a and I'm, I'm getting, getting the feeling that the night door is not closed too, so... We'll go check on that door. Alright, we're gonna do this as quickly as we can. I was on the tracks and then I see a track. I don't think it's really that funny though. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's see if it's closed. Okay, it does close. Alright. And then now we'll... <laughs> and we'll do this again. Be morning, but we still need to get caught or do that again. So it'll be midday, so we can get to that door again. And we'll start a, a box. Oh, and also there's another way to do it. Okay, now it's midday, so now we can go through that door again. Come up here, press a jump button, and then <gasps> do this. It works that way. Then you can just die that way if you just walk the ladder. So now it's moving. Alright, and now it's midday. Let's try this again. Listen to me, okay? This is how you this is how you get it. And then the flashlight goes here. The hat's over here. And then you have to put it, place it right there. The pillow goes all the way over here. Make sure everything's on the red. And where'd the pillow go? There it is. Okay, so can I there, right there, that's where the pillow goes. Okay, and then the skateboard. Yes, we really had to listen to me because you guys are not gonna get this right if you if, if you guys don't listen to me. And there you go, the skateboard goes right there. And now the door is still open. You have to match this picture. You got the guitar. You need to make sure you drain the water. Make sure you drain the water. Like I showed you where to drain the water. And then you'll be able to reach the guitar, but it, through that 
that submarine door. If, if, if that thing's full of water, it won't let you in. And then, see this picture here? He had to match that with this picture. Got it? That's how you do this. Now see the generator is open. It is open. Okay, so that's good. Now we'll, I will carefully um, try to... Okay, so I would glide to it. Or... Maybe just jump from the little box. It would be even better. Okay, now we're on the railroad tracks. Now let's try to jump, jump to a few things. Okay, so and then... Now we're here. See, and this is, this is how you get the generator open. And this will chop the fridge. And allow that ice cube to melt. Now let's check on the tree. Wow, it's getting very really big. It's growing. Look at that. And that's a rare tree ever seen. It's red, my favorite color. Huh. That's pretty cool. I like it. And that's how you, that's how you garden. That's how you do a garden. Okay. So now we top the generator. So now you guys are okay. Now you guys are all set. But not quite this yet. Now you need the crowbar, which is probably probably cool by now. Okay, and then he got me. But still doesn't matter now. Now we can go behind the door. Finally. I can go and take the nails out. You can see me? I probably couldn't. Okay, and he's over there. So now let's get some time to do this. And remove these boards. They're like over there or something. And this is still um, not locked yet. This guy is still locked. You need to pass. And it was. And also, when you first time open this freezer, this part key card right here will be frozen. You can't get to it. There's two ways to, to melt the ice. Either, um, correct the match from the picture in that room I just, we just done. And solve that puzzle to get, to open up the generator and turn that thing off. Or you can, uh, heat up, you can turn this thing on. Use this, so the water, heat it up, and fit the hot water on the ice cube to melt it. There's two ways to do it. Now we can open this thing and just go to the basement. Alright, now we're back into the basement. But this is a little different. Alright, now we're in the basement. And they crouch to fit through that hole. Go here, go here. Don't need that. Do you need to do a thing with this? And you go through this way. On some versions, you need to carry the TV with you to see where you're going. But most of you don't. Open up your clothes. And also, you need to hide from this guy. If you don't have this ability, you are screwed. the push down again. You need, you need that for um, that door over there. And there's ways to uh, get there quicker. You can um, possibly use uh, the double jump 
to go over there. Before he gets killed, just share with you. If you don't have the double jump twist, it's alright. You really don't really need it. Really need it. If you don't have the double jump, just place a the chair there. And then, see, you can just get over the other side. If that double jump, then you can just double jump over the fence. And now this ability you really need. The push down. If you don't have it, then you're screwed. That's Mark. Lock, lock him out. Alright, and now back to the hallway. Just walk all the way down here. Before we go in, there's a few things I want to show you, and this is where we're going to end the video. Okay, so first of all, remember this door right here? Remember in Act 1, it was all covered in locks? But now this door has been replaced with, a, with just a regular door. But in Act 1, there's nothing really behind that secret door that you're getting to. You know, with the one with all the locks. You know, with the red, yellow, and green lock locks. And there's nothing behind it. But now there's something behind this one. Let's see. First, let's look see what's in there. I see some paintings in there. I see a shelf, a person, a bed. Looks pretty good so far. Looks like it just could be sitting in that room. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, that is it. Alright guys, well that is it, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys really enjoyed this video, and please subscribe if you are new, and also hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video, game on. Hello everyone, Zachary DX here, and today, or tonight, we are going to be playing Hello neighbor, and this time we're gonna do um so excited for this. I'm sorry, I cut myself there. We're gonna be doing the final at at four the final. We're gonna be doing the final at. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited for this. I'm gonna go ahead and select at the final. I wish I could continue, but we're not going to do that. Alright, and for the do, okay, the final, the grand finale starts in three, and the two, and the one. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. The grand final. The final boss. And it's gonna be a little glitchy. And here we go. Here's the final boss. And you can't really do anything about this. And this door is locked. So you can't go through this door. Just so you guys know. And look at the neighbor. He is so gigantic. It's like super huge. He's like Godzilla. Oh my. And watch this. You get, this is really gonna freak you guys out. Now what she's gonna do? He broke the entire building. He with his with his huge hand. He broke the entire building. Oh my gosh! He, and look how huge he is. He's like super huge. I'll give you guys like 15 seconds to look at him right now. Okay, time's up. Alright. Now this is quite simple. So just jump on these platforms right here. Okay, and then... And, and also, it won't make this easier, just grab some boxes. And if you grab some boxes, and while you're here, press this button to activate the, the train. Uh, yeah, my iPad's glitchy. <laughs> and there it goes. See the tr train there? They're behind his leg. Here it comes. 
It's gonna break through that red bone right there. It broke through the building. All right, and then once you have your item with you, go to this switch right here. Soup, aim for it, and super throw the box all the way up to that switch. Aim and boom, got it. There we go. So that's how you do it. So you have to super aim it. Just do um. So like I said, hold down the, um, aim for the light switch, have a box or something in your hand, hold down that throw button for about 5 seconds, or a little longer than that, do a super throw it right into the air, and then they'll activate the switch if you aim for it right. Okay, so now, we're gonna go to the toaster. There's two ways to get to the toaster. You can, um, use the radio. And, and walk on be care, and carefully walk on this antenna and go into the shelf and then jump your way there or you can um tap boxes to reach to that black thing right there and then if you have a double jump ability then you can um really And then you can do it that that is also. Okay, now you want to go in this toaster. And I just have very, very high. Okay, now this process is a little hard. Okay, you have a limited time for this. So same right here. Activate that switch and, and quickly jump onto that elevator before it leaves you. There you go, I made it the first time. On PC, um, on PC, Switch, and Xbox version, um, this too will not be completely dark. It will be, um, pretty much light and gray inside. But on mobile version, it's completely dark. Well, you can see where you're going. But it's just dark. This is how they like it to be. Here you go. Now, I ever came to a complete stop. Got his lamp or anything off the shelf to break this window. Okay, well, you guys are wondering what that is. That's just a helicopter flying over my house, so just don't worry about that. If you guys want, if you guys want a million umbrellas, just flip the switch and I'll have them will come down. And then once you did that, then a million of umbrellas will be falling from the sky. You can just grab one. Doesn't matter which one you grab. Then, go ahead and, uh, you can go into the radio or just stack your boxes right over here and then do this. And then, gently, uh, go ahead and go over here. Guess we we'll know where the Mentos are. They're right there. I can see them from here. Okay, and then, the next process we need to do is... Oh, and I forgot. Okay. There's two ways to get into there. You can follow that track to get to that red building. Or you can glide your way there. Which is, I don't think that's gonna work, cause it's like, we're gonna miss it, so. Yeah, we missed it. Okay, well, I was kinda too busy showing you stuff, and then I completely missed the building. Okay, and then, let's try this again. I showed you where the Mentos are. So if you wanna do Mentos in that Coke spirit, you guys can go ahead and do that. Okay, let me um, go ahead and try to get up here. Here we go. And then we'll go to that red building. 
and you may not be able to glide there, just close your umbrella, free fall. Do this every time until you land safely into it. There you go. And you can go and grab a candle, there's another one you grab. You can grab one off the birthday cake or off the shelf. And this is when this will come in handy. Can you use the co you can use the Coca Coca Cola bottle. You can use the cola bottle or but you need to need the Mentos, you're on top of that shelf right over there. Which is I'll show you that here in just a minute. I'll go right to that shelf. First thing you may want to let the spy work. Let the spy work. Okay. Like that. I hurt the neighbor. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Okay, yeah, he's he's pretty hurt. I'm feel very bad. Okay, so now we're gonna go where the Mentos are now. Show you where those are, and then the Coke bottle. Can you see it from here? You see that green thing on top of those two blue cans? That's the Coke bottle. So if you put put in there. Then that thing will go flying right towards the neighbor. But you need you need the Mentos first, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Well, actually, I'm not gonna be putting the Mentos in the bottle. I'm gonna be um, just showing you where the Mentos are. All right, so we'll glide to the Mentos. Show you where they are. And they're right here. Here are the Mentos. You can grab some. Actually, go ahead and maybe grab one. Okay, and I do believe the thing is over there. Um, alright. I'll go ahead and, uh, maybe do it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And I missed, I missed it. Okay, well. Okay, well, I missed it. Alright, I'll go ahead and do it. The, um, comment down below if you guys really want me to, um, do the Coke experiment. Okay, so now we're... Sorry I'm being so quiet, but sometimes there's some bad talking a lot. Alright, and there we go. And here's and here's the Coke bottle right here. Here's the cola. And drop a mento in. And see, and then they'll get his knee. I'm sorry about your knee, buddy. Okay, and now, well, that's one way to do it. Okay, and I keep missing things. Okay, well, I should have jumped. Okay, and then, blast ourselves in this thing again. Go to the balls. And sell that candle with me. We should have that candle with you so you can do this. Alright, now this process, you can go ahead and just push the ball right into the ball shooter. But then it'll shoot his other knee. And there we go. And then there's another way to attack the neighbor. I'll show you in a minute here. We're seeing this guy over here. Okay, we're gliding, we're gliding. And then you can go ahead and use this crossbow. Actually, it's just called like a bow and arrow. 
which was just a plunger, it's not very sharp. And to fire it, you have to use this candle to burn the rope. And see, and then also it kind of hurt him as well, see? It fired right at him. But it didn't do anything because we we got both his knees. Alright, so now for this process, we're ready to go. Like I said again, if you want to go to that red building, you can follow the track or use a toaster and have an umbrella with you to do it. Alright, now we're ready to go to that house now. So, and there's a, there's two ways to get to the toaster. You can, you can set boxes, reach to that black thing, or you can use that, go, jump on that radio, carefully walk on that antenna, go on that red shelf, and then jump your way to the toaster. Okay, and then, have your umbrella open. Now it's time to um, launch yourself to the house. Now it's gonna be a little tricky. You had to try to aim for the house. And make sure you do, so. Okay, and look, he has a house on his back. That's kind of weird. The house is like his backpack. Or you can call it a house pack. Oh man, that's kind of funny. Not. <laughs> okay, so apparently we kind of missed it. So, isn't that kind of weird though? That he has a house on his back? Imagine if you guys have a house on your back. Would you guys like to have a house on your back? I know I wouldn't. Okay, let's try this one last time. This time we'll go on that blue platform up there. See that blue platform? We're, we're getting for that. It now gets the house even quicker. There's two ways to get to the house. You can glide your way over, or you can glide to the blue platform and then jump for it. But really, it's kind of really difficult to do. So right now we're going to try to jump for it, so we tried gliding to it, it didn't quite work out, so we're, we're going to go to that platform. Okay, so now, wait, there you go, and we're here. Oh. That's a cool glitch, and look, we're inside the house. <laughs> we actually got in the house, that's kind of weird. I glitched my way in. I glitched my way into the house. Oh my gosh, that was kind of cool. And see this now, we're in the copy room. And look, it's a simming, but it's supposed to be missing. But look, see, there's a boy and a girl missing. That's not good. Hate seeing that. And look, see, there's like, a, I see a grave, a big fence, spooky eyes. That's the Shadow Man. The big leaf Shadow Man. That's, that's him right there. I hear crickets, and I see a big crow right by the, the eyes. That's kind of creepy, and that crow better fly away. There's two crows, okay. Okay, now let's move on. You can't run in this room. I won't let you. This is how fast you can go. I'm gonna go look through this window. There's a door leading to the basement. And see, there's more of those spooky eyes. It's like someone's building something down there or something. I don't know. Listen to that. It either sounds like someone's pounding the hammer or pulling up the stairs. I must be working on something down there. I don't know what though. That's kind of spooky though. And now we go through this way. And also, you cannot go this way. It's like a big fence blocking your way. See the fence right here? It's blocking your way, so you can't go this way.
Chrissy has the door, but I'm gonna show you one more thing first before we go through that door. Here's another secret right here. We can't really go over this fence. We can watch see what they're doing. There's a shadow man right there watching him. And the neighbor's crying. Apparently someone had died and then he's crying about it. Then he's put missing posters for apparently for no apparent reason. Now that's kind of weird. Okay, so I'll give you guys uh, maybe 10 seconds to look at this process right here. Okay, time's up. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. Now here's the final boss fight. It starts now. And see, you're not really the kid like in Add 2 and Add 1. Here's the kid. Like I said, here's the kid from Add 2 and Add 1. You're not, you're not him. You're, you're the real man of him. He's like, and he's, the person you're being right now, he's at least like 18 or 19 years old. And also, um, okay, I'm gonna follow you. Uh, let's see. I love seeing you play, play with your airplanes and cars. That's kind of cool. But I'm gonna look at the window with you, buddy. What's going on? Okay, so here we go. Here's this giant man. Let's go ahead and I'll beat him to it. I'll beat him upstairs. And here's the final boss fight. The music I started. So what we want to do is guard him. And I'll show you what happens if you don't. See, he killed him with his bare hands. He just killed the kid. How could he? He murdered him too. And he screamed like a girl. Or not really screamed like a girl, but he was screaming. Holy jeez. How mean are you? Okay, like I said, you really need to guard him if you want to keep him alive. And he'll break through the house, so be careful. So now, all you want to do is go this way, so you gotta go up one spot, and also one thing, you cannot go to the wardrobe or go through the store, and you can't go, you can't, you can't fit through there, oh man, I'm gonna fail again, and also, you can't fit through this hole, I'm just gonna let him die again, you can't fit through this hole, so, and he's gonna get killed, like I said, you gotta kill again, cause I, Kind of was trying busy talking to you guys instead of paying pay attention to what's going on. All right, and now let's do this again. Like I said, go to this room first. Go upstairs. Follow this kid. Always follow him. All right. He'll, and he'll uh, try to grab the kid about five times. Five times is how many times you'll get him. So instead of going over that side, go on this side. Go through this hall right here. Don't stand right here. The kid won't be coming through here. He'll be staying at least right by this bed. See, right there. Guard him. You can look at him or you can look what's going on behind you. And then don't follow the kid where he's going because you can't fit through a small holes. The way where he can fit in. And then he'll be coming up these stairs. But then he'll be coming to this room right here. And there's the kid. Guard him. Okay, and now in this process, you have to crouch. Because look, you can't fit through here. See? Actually, you can. Okay. You can crouch if you want. And then you'll be in this room right here. So, then make sure you stand right here. If you want to go to the last room, you can. Okay. That's the fourth time. Alright, and then... Go up this 
hallway here, but you'll be really, really going really, really, really slow up that that ramp. Looks like you're tall, but look, look, I think you're fully in midair. I think. I think you're fully in midair. Last and final time. And there we go. We done it. We defeated the Shadow Man. Well, actually, it's not really defeated. You guys can go ahead and go through that uh, exit door, or you can see what's going on in this house over here. Listen to that music. <gasps> see, and then you see um, the neighbor is trapped in the house. Uh, there's no way I can save him, so I'm afraid I'll leave him where he is. And on this side is, you can see the shaman man's on the other side of the door, but he's also trapped in the house as well. You can't, re so really you can't save uh, the neighbor and, and mobile. On hello neighbor mobile, so you can't do that. It's impossible to do. Seeing the neighbor's just sad and trapped in his house. And there's the, there's the shower man again, and he was knocking on the door. All right. And go all the way over. If you want to end the game, go all the way over here. Go through this exit door. Um. For some. Um. You guys want to hear the music? Alright, turn up louder. Okay, I'll give you guys maybe 20 seconds to listen to this music. It's very soothing. Okay, so time's up. But it, um, so you guys really like the music so far? It's moving, isn't it? All right, let's go through the door now. And don't have to do anything for this part. It's just all cutscenes. That's a pizza bus or a pizza cut. Man, that thing was kind of old and rickety. Better fix it, man. Hey! So, I to a biker? Hmm, that's good. And this is too much to end. It's a very good ending. guys well we did it we actually went through the whole entire game went to, went to the whole entire walkthrough and i'll teach you guys how to play this whole entire game and hope you guys really enjoyed this game and i hope you guys really download it it is free on the on the app store on apple devices but it's not available on uh, android might be Available on some Android devices, but not most of them. And 
thank you guys for really joining me on this uh, cool looking game. Maybe kind of a little spooky, but really soothing too. So thank you guys so much for being with me and uh, playing this game with me. I'm really glad you guys really are enjoying this game. Okay, so thank you guys for really uh, playing this game with me and please do me a favor and leave a like and I'll make probably make another video if I get up to 10 likes. If I hit 10 likes on this video, I'll probably do something very, very cool. I may make, if I can try to make one, a Minecraft story, story mode video. I'll probably do Minecraft story mode. Okay, so please give this video 10 likes. I really wanted to add 10 likes, okay? Actually, let's double this. Let's make it 20 likes. Okay, 20 likes. If this video gets 20 likes, please make sure you, you leave a like on this video. Because really, if, it, if this video gets 20 likes, 10 or 20 likes, I don't care which one, actually. If it gets 10 or 20 likes, I'll probably try to make a mi uh, Minecraft story mode video. I'll probably, I'll probably play Minecraft story mode and I purchase all the episodes. See, I have it on here, Minecraft Story Mode. I'll go and do that. Always wanted to do Minecraft Story Mode on my channel, but I don't know how much uh, video space I got for for it. I don't know if I can screen record the whole thing or not, so I'll have to make sure of that. If I get enough source source space, I probably can record the whole entire thing, the whole entire episode. Okay, so hey, thank you guys for being with me today. Please like, subscribe. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new. And also, you guys, um, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Game on.